Hey, what's up all you party people? We're back out here today at the Freedom Farm. I took off this damn thing, TMB Chad. Just to give you a comparison, this is the Area 419 Hellfire Match. One, two, three, four, port break. Here is the TMB. Just to give you a, a comparison on size difference. This thing's freaking long, man. Maybe the problem. Got a bunch of whip on the end of that barrel. The big old weight. So I took I took this TMB off and I put this 419 brake on it. We're just gonna shoot. I've got the same thing. Six millimeter arc ammo, 108 grain ELDM. We're just gonna see how it shoots. Coming straight off of this brake. On back to this brake and just see what uh, the group looks like. Uh, with no quote unquote tuner on there just the brake i was using before one similar to it now i got some hand loads i loaded up on this one shooting a new powder on this six arc it is the alliant mr 2000 or 2000 mr i've got the 105 grain hybrid from burger loaded up with that and i got the 109 grain boattail hollow point from burger loaded up with that and then i ran just out of curiosity, I ran a string of loads with Lever Evolution and the 109 grain uh, long range hybrid target from Burger. We're just going to see how they group up, how they shoot. If I've got a load in there somewhere on this one, this will probably be off a little bit coming from one break to the other. We'll just see where we are. Go down and have a look, see what this uh, group looks like with straight out of the box, 108 grain. So I take the TMB off of there. Here's where I was aiming, and I am over a foot low going to that Hellfire match break. Got some adjustments to make. I wanted to save this target. I shot a target that I'd used last weekend, and I've got a three shot group. Hornady, Hornady 108 grain ELDM factory out of the box. That's not fucking bad for factory ammo. Uh, usually this setup does not shoot the 108 grain very well. Shoots the 105 grain black better. Um, but whatever the case, you know, here we go. We got our starting point to work with uh, as we move forward with some of these hand loads. So let's check those out. Okay, if I remember correctly, this is 29 grains, 30 grains on the 105 grain. This is 29, or this is 30, 29 of the 109 grain. This is with 2000 MR, and then these are all 109 grain burgers. This is 29 grain, 30. Not a bad little five shot group overall. We'll let this cool off. We'll take you down there. I'm going to shoot uh, next up is 30 grains, 2000. And this is the 109 grain burger. A little shine. Nothing to be worried about, I don't think. I think that's one hole. Let's see if this holds up. Fell out of the group, but not by much. Good little group, y'all. Let's let this cool off and go down and take a peek at things. There's the 105 hybrid with 29 grains. 105 hybrid with 30 grains. This is the 109 burger with 30 grains and we're going to shoot the 29 grain here and then we're going to come down let's shoot another little test with lever evolution in the 109 grain burger 
But as you can see, this thing totally fucked up my grouping on this barrel. <laughs> this tuner thing, I don't know, man. I may try it on my 22 DPC. It may benefit from this, but other than that, I'm not sure that uh, I have a use for it anymore because it sucks on this rifle. All right, we're going to do the 29 grain. See if this group's a little better than the 30 grain load. Been getting one dislike on my videos. I got a subscriber whose brother in law works for the Biden administration. Every time I put something about Hawk Tua Harris or Sleepy Joe, I tend to get a dislike. Sorry, buddy. Just can't help myself. You've all seen the epic war film Full Metal Jacket. But times, they are a changing. This summer, Prepare yourselves for a new kind of war story. A war not fought with bullets and bombs, but with courage and tampons. Meet Timmy Tampon Walls. A man who turned his back on the battlefield of Iraq but found himself on the front lines of a different war, right here at home. Join us for the most politically correct action movie of the year. Of a man who dodged the war on terror but fought a war against masculinity. Timmy Walls is the full plastic applicator, coming soon. Not all heroes wear capes, some carry tampons. Old Hawk Tua. Shocker, either Camilla Harris, she's the original Hawk Tua girl. Man go crazy every time. Oh, you, you gotta give him that Hawk Tua and spit on that thing, you get me? <laughs> Pick tampon Timmy for her VP running mate. What a douchebag he is, holy shit. Ooh. Got one outside of the group, the, other, the rest of them are a big, funny looking hole. Uh, it's all out of the group. Not a bad group though. What I did with these next loads, I forgot. Uh, I've got 29 grains, 30 grains, and 31 grains of Lever Revolution with the 109 grain burger. We'll get uh, a couple more tar targ dots up there and we're going to shoot these, see how these group up. Typically in the past, this rifle has liked that powder. All right, we got the lever revolution coming up here 29, 30, and 31 grains. All right, there's that 109 grain, 30 grains of 2000. There's the 109 with 29 grains of 2000. There's two, two, one. That's one, two, three, four, five. Down here is the lever revolution, the 109 grain burger, 29 grains, three shot group, three and one hole to the left. 30 grains, three in one hole, four, five, and 31 grains, three, four, five. There's Jimmy taking the hay off. Uh, quite a bit of jump in the scope compared to the TMB. About a mil up and one mil, mil and a half left. Well, there you have it. Right there is the uh, Area 419. Hellfire match. Right underneath it there is the TMB Chad. This is super effective. Awesome on recoil. I mean, this thing is sweet. Absolutely shit on accuracy. That doesn't tune or do anything special. It just helps with recoil a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. This thing is supposed to help with both. It only helps one. Really disappointed with that thing. Then it is what it is. Be sure to check out my GoFundMe page. Put the link below. Thanks for tuning in as always. Stay safe, stay free. Till next time.